hire him here. Last week I did a video on this little alcohol stove. It's what I call the under three gram alcohol stove. It's just a tea light cup with a piece of corrugated aluminum foil from a uh, pie pan. Since I did that video, I did the video using a one cup in a titanium cup and since then I've had a number of people asking me to do it on my standard Boy Scout pot with two cups. Now I really don't think that that's going to be possible. I don't think this little bit of alcohol is going to bring that to a boil. So unless it's really requested by other people, what I'm going to do today is this basic idea can be scaled up what I have here is my coddle burner. I'm sure people have seen this from old videos. It's just a uh, coddle bottom, about one inch tall, with a piece of exhaust wrap, like what you'd get in a motor shop, held in place with a little bit of hardware cloth wire. Now normally, this is used with a hardware cloth pot stand. But what I've done today is I've taken another piece of aluminum foil, aluminum pie pan rather, uh, one inch tall, actually it's two inches tall, this is about one inch and then this is another inch on top of that and it's just placed inside like this. Now for those of you that don't know how I did that, this corrugation just uses a piece of the regular aluminum foil which isn't very strong on its own like this. But what you can do is run it through a uh, paper corrugator. This stuff is thin enough that it will it'll go through something like this and get formed. So what you do is you cut yourself a piece of aluminum to the size that you want. In this case it's two inches by whatever because I'll have to cut it down. You just take the cor corrugator. Make sure that this edge is cut straight so that when you put it in here it'll grab straight on. Just put it in like that. Clamp the handle. Now I got this thing years ago at a craft store. It's a Fiskars uh, corrugator. Normally used like I said for card stock or paper. I guess these are still around. If not I'm sure you can get them on eBay. But anyway you just put the aluminum foil in like that. Clamp it and then just start turning. Now it may take some practice, this is already running off center, but with a little bit of practice you can get it to go through and there you have a piece of corrugated aluminum, which is much stronger than the aluminum was by itself. Okay, so what I have here is my coddle, coddle burner with the aluminum in it. In a previous test I did this with the hardware cloth using 30 milligrams, milliliters rather, or one fluid ounce of methanol. Let me just squirt this in here. Now a bigger burner would take more alcohol if you wanted, but the one fluid ounce seems to work pretty good in this. Okay. Just set the stand up right. Now again, I punched a single hole in here so that if the pot sits on this flat, it doesn't build up uh, vapor pressure and push the alcohol out through here. Whatever vacu whatever vapor pressure comes out will just come right out this hole. This doesn't burn by, by uh, the vapor pressure. So I have two cups of water here, setting at 59 degrees. It was 60, but it's going down. Now this is a case where you just stick the match to it, and up it goes. Yep. So let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 
11 to 12 and 448. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees, came to a full boil in 4 minutes and 48 seconds. When I did this test with the hardware cloth stand, it took 6 minutes and 43 seconds. So let's see how long it takes for this to run out now on 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of, of methanol. Be right back. Okay, and there goes the flame going, going, okay, let's say gone at 736, 736 for run out, let's say, not bad. On, like I said on the previous test, when I did this, it was two cups of water when I did the test. Okay, now that it just went on, but it's just the flames on the inside, a little bit of vapor there. Previously, two cups of water starting at 53 degrees, got to a boil in 6 minutes and 43 seconds, and then ran out in 9 minutes. This time, two cups of water starting at 59 degrees, Got to a boil in 4 minutes and 48 seconds. That's almost 2 minutes savings. And then ran out in 7 minutes and 36 versus 9. So not too bad. Oh, the weight of this, the whole thing with the coddle burner and the aluminum on the inside was 23.2 grams or 0.82 ounces. The... Uh, Coddle burner by itself was 20 grams, so this is only like 3.2 grams of weight. Now, of course, this weighs more than this one did because it's much less aluminum foil. But that's not bad for a little stove that you could carry. Just roll this up in something, stick it into the burner when you need it. Looks like a nice little emergency type burner. I wouldn't expect this this to last a whole long time, but I mean, what the heck, you can just cut yourself another piece of aluminum and form yourself another stand. Take Carry a couple of these with you in your outfit. This has burned 30, 40 times on this thing. The, uh, the fiber wrap there is starting to look its age, but it still burns. So anyway, that's sort of a scale up of this. I look forward, to, I thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the